Windfall, wonderful audience. We run, we win. This is James, and we're going to continue. I'm going to do my, my my other channel, Exercising with James. Um, uh, I really need to get a need to get the custom URL for that since I've got enough subscribers anyway. But the issue um, I'm going to talk about is that uh, behind every single bully child is a bully adult. And the reason why I say that is because it might, I, the, the Exercising with James channel will eventually go uh, into much greater detail with a whole different, you know, several videos to explain each thing. But I basically, the reason why I say, want to say it like that is because children don't just turn one way. Children, the Bible says, you know, are like the arrows in the, the, the hand of a, you know, are like arrows in a quiver and they, they go pretty much direct any direction you teach you you show them so of course we always know that if, if there's always so i'm just giving you thoughts on it um be explained detail and the other thing is that you know first of all if you got bullied we all know this if you got bully if you got bully parents who are bullying the child emotionally or physically or sexually or something like that you know that already is that and the child is actually you know the child's just you know pretty much just um just repeating what their how their parents are treating them that's different you know that well that's the general not different but that's really the main type of bullying that we have you know the the main person behind it you know say the parents are just mean and rude and curse at the kids you don't have any business cursing at your kid but you know people like to try to the reason why i'm saying this concept is that if you don't deal with the source of it you can't just make a child be nice but I mean, so, you know, because they're learning from you. They, I mean, they can learn and act away at school when they're around you teachers. But then when they leave and they're off school property, I mean, when they're on their little social network and they pretty much do whatever they want to do because, you know, they just learn how to be nice around you. And when, then when they're done, they're going to go take care of that person afterwards. That's like someone who says they're going to beat somebody up. You say, well, they can't beat them up on school property. And so you think, oh, the children in my class are so nice and they're so respectable and everyone's so nice. And it's like, no, 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 you, you wait till after school. They're going to go over there and beat that person up, you know, at the sand lot or whatever, you know. And it, that's just, I mean, and you thought you went off and did something. But, but back on, you know, first of all, obviously, we have the parents who are really, really mean and so the children are just pretty much reenacting that. Or, you know, like bad things are happening in their family. That's why I say you got the original one who was just a pretty much de demand person, just a bully themselves, you know, and the kids, you know, just treating the person like they're getting treated at home. Or it could be stress, you know, but the, the parent is always behind this, you know, the parent is doing wrong. Why are the kids stressed out? Well, because, the well, I guess in a sense, the parents are stressed out. And so they're not doing what they're supposed to do for the kids. And so, um, I guess in a sense, in that really small thing, you wouldn't necessarily call that the, a bully parent. Mm. Then you just have an incompetent parent, <laughs> a parent who can't handle, can't handle the stress, can't handle. I'm, I'm sorry if you're a mom and you you're you you're a single mom and you can't handle the stress of being a single mom. You got problems, and so you need to go and get with God and get that taken care of. Or a single dad. Or a single dad, yeah, too. You know some of the. You know, either way, single mom, single dad, doesn't really matter if you're just incompetent. Okay, I guess I have said So not behind every, most kids, there's a bully, but other, so you either as a bully parent or they're just incompetent. <laughs> but we'll stick with the bully adult thing. So, um. But if you're an adult who was bullied, get that taken care of so you can stop bullying kids. Oh, yeah. And if you were an adult who was bullied, you do need to go and get that taken care of too. But, you know, so you got the obvious one would be. The, the parents are just mean and rude and curse at the kids and just, you know, there's just some mean, vindictive, vindictive people out there. That's one thing. But then, of course, you also got the the bully adult that, you know, you know, a bully adult who like uh, berates people, talks down on people or is full of pride themselves. And so they're like they're kind of like a bully to the people that disagree with them and stuff like that. And then, of course, that's how that child, so it's not directly being bullied, but the child is being taught to be a bully. And so the person gets on social media and hates on everybody that disagrees with them and talks about this, and they're really just prideful and arrogant and stuff like that. And so the child just mimics their parent in that sense. But the parent is still behind it because the parents, you know, uh, you know, a bully. They bully people on social media. They bully people wherever they go. You know, they just, they're prideful, arrogant, things like that. So 
But behind it, there's always a parent behind these children. I mean, even if it's just pure, like we said, incompetence, we do want to throw that in. There is that group of parents that are just totally incompetent. But most of the bullies, you know, is really something specific. The parents are carrying on and the kids just retaliating. Um, so the other channel, of course, go in much, much, much more detail. But so that's it. So make sure you find out. And the reason why I'm telling you this is that you can't just deal with a kid and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about the other thing was fake bullying. There is another. Um, there is another. Like I said, there is another thing and it is called fake bullying um where uh it is a bully person it's a bully parent behind this because um the person actually uh is lying that's what a fake bully is a fake bully is someone who lies ah about what bullying is and so when they lie about what bullying is then you know when you call it bullying it's not really bullying but it's like a lie. So you got that's behind another child bully because they're like saying the parent or the adult is saying, well, if someone disagrees with you, they're a bully. Well, that ain't true. You know, you need to find out what a bully is and what's not a fake bully. You know, a fake bully is someone who calls your kid a name because you used to do something stupid. That's, you know, they say something stupid, not supposed to do, do something stupid. That's one thing. But if they come find your kid every single day, that's that will create a child bully, you know, because the child's actually doing that. So it's so interesting. The the whole concept that we're dealing with is just that there's fake stuff. And that's, see, you're getting this without the notes. So I'm just telling you the general, I want to run into that. So you're getting this without the notes. <laughs> but, ser but seriously, you need to go to the source of the bullying instead of just saying, you can't just make a kid stop acting the way he is. I mean, he'll, he can play around, but what if he, what if he snaps? You tell him to, oh, you can't be not. Okay, that's the be, what Sm spank their behinds, right? Do what the Bible says. Discipline them. Discipline them. Yes, you ought to, but you know, ah, <sighs> live, move, be.